What's up guys, Spin Firearms here, and if you've ever seen this channel before, you know I'm big into carrying in many different ways. I like, like keeping everyday carry as versatile as possible. And the reason for that is, is depending on your lifestyle, you want things to go with your lifestyle. You don't necessarily want to say, okay, I'm going to do this, but I still have to carry this Glock 17, right? And I get that some people, you know, right now they only own one firearm, two firearms, that's perfectly fine. But for me, I make it a priority to always have a pocket pistol. I think they are key to a lot of things. Now, for instance, you're taking your dog for a walk. Chances are, you know where you live, but if you live in a decent place, you know. If you have a little pocket pistol on you, that should be good enough. If you're taking your kids to the playground, typically a place where not a lot of stuff goes wrong. As long as you keep a backup mag and a pocket pistol, usually you are good. You're going for a jog, pocket pistol makes sense going biking with the kids pocket pistol makes sense for being comfortable and stuff like that for instance even when i go to the movies with my daughter i pocket carry because i know she might rest her head on me or you know want to just lay on me and watch the movie or you know cuddle whatever i don't want to change my life around how i carry that's just the point i'm trying to make so therefore i like pocket pistols now mainly i carry glock 26 a hellcat a shield plus mp 40c smaller but not quite pocket pistol firearms right the 43 from glock i consider being just a single stack that is the category i put it in just like a shield 40 i consider that a single stack but these tend to be a little bit smaller in every dimension than a single stack so i know some people say you know with an xds or a shield sometimes they're a little too big for pocket carry but generally speaking stuff like a ruger lcp max diamondback db9 gen 4 glock 42 which is the biggest of them all or the bodyguard from Smith & Wesson all tend to be small enough to fit in the average pocket, I would say. And of course, that depends on how you carry, and that's what we're going to get into today. But I also like these, you know, the biggest thing for me is I like laying low-key. I don't like problems. I don't like arguing. I don't like awkwardness. So if there's a family member that doesn't like firearms and you're staying over their house or they don't, you know, you go to a birthday party, a lot of people there don't like firearms, I don't want to start stuff. I don't want to cause problems. Get something concealable. I know I'm generally in a safe area. Nobody has to know but me. But anyways, we're going to talk about a couple ways that I pocket carry, what I like about them, what I don't like about them, and so on. And one thing I want to put out there is if you're pocket carrying, do your best to not carry with a straight soft holster. Now, there's a difference between uh, like a hybrid holster where it's sort of soft but hard at the same time and then just a flat out soft holster. Now, I wish I had one for this video. I don't. They're upstairs. But the one that Ruger sends with their pocket pistols makes me really nervous. I get that the original LCP had a really long trigger, but you send them with the LCP Max that actually has a really solid trigger overall for what it is. That makes me nervous. So when you do pocket carry, please, I'm telling you, get a good pocket holster. And I found some options out there that aren't big, aren't bulky, literally just looks like a wallet or a cell phone is in your pocket. And guys, I pocket carry this right here. This is my work carry. It's a shield, but I wear Carhartt pants that have large pockets. So I carry this in a better pocket locker holster, and this is bigger than all these options. So if I can carry this 10, 11, 12 hours a day at work as a new construction plumber, you guys should have no problem with these options as outside of work, these are my pocket carry go-tos. Now, first off, we're gonna talk about the DeSantis, right? Because cost-wise, this is the best way to go, money-wise. It's not the best overall, but it will do the job. It has a little bit of a sticky coating, sort of like a sticky holster, in order to stick to the inside of your pocket. It also ha has its own same material claw. So it does get stiffer over here. This material has a little bit more, I'm guessing it's because of all the stitching in such a small area, um, really locks it in, but it's much more firm than the actual holster itself. So that's gonna act as a claw, which we will get into what a claw does and all that. But on the inside, what's nice is you will get no Kydex markings on your host, on your firearm, right? You're not going to get all those lines and stuff that you see on a lot of my firearms, um, a lot of wear time, stuff like that. That's not going to happen on here. So these are going to be good. But at the same time, you can see they're stiff. They don't ever like crease in one spot and then one spot can poke into that trigger. It, it always just like bends outward or inward, but never in one spot, if that makes sense, right? So nothing can ever get in that trigger guard right just the way it is so this is actually a pretty decent option for pocket carry but once again it's not my recommended they're about 25 to 28 dollars something like that they're very versatile they fit multiple pocket pistols um normally and like i said this claw is meant to hook onto your pocket so when you draw it stays in your pocket 
Now let's get into my two favorite options. Now, I carry with both. So honestly, I like them both, I recommend them both. This right here is your Vetter Pocket Locker Holster. I carry this 55 to 60 hours during a work week, every work week. And like I said, it's on my shield, but I love it. And the one thing I did do, I did make a mistake when I first started pocket carrying, and I ordered with a flat claw and no push-off tab. It is worth it for the push-off tab, and I'm gonna explain why. So the flat claw just sticks out. For less printing and also for being more comfortable, it takes shape to your legs, sort of. Like, imagine it in a pocket. Um, this claw is really nice. That hooks onto the inside of your pants, shapes to your body, and then also you have a backup way. Just in case, because it is Kydex, it has more retention, just in case it doesn't fully come off, you got that push-off tab. Now, the way I run things is I always push off every time. I always push off and then the claw will do the rest, right? Um, so when you push, that claw is now so loose, it can stay on the firearm, but the second you draw, it's going to hit your pocket and it releases. As long as you train, you will have no issues with it. Absolutely love the pocket locker. And on top of that, I can speak of durability. I fell off a six foot ladder with my FN 503 in my pocket onto my handgun. And all it did was leave a massive bruise in my thigh. Nothing happened to the holster, nothing happened to my handgun. So literally, I just got hurt from literally falling off a ladder, and that's a whole different story. Not necessarily my fault. But uh, anyways, next one is the Hog Holster Stash Holster. This is a really cool design because it allows it to be a little bit more sleek and smaller of a surface area than the pocket locker, but it also has no claw. So that's I do like the double option because it, it almost guarantees a perfect draw every time. But the way this is made with retention and the way this push off, um, you know, push off tab works with the retention is absolutely great. Like, check that out. It literally just flings itself off. Now we can do it again right here with that 40 or that Ruger LCP Max. I mean, I can, it with force. It, it's insane. So both of them work good. You do have to practice it though. The best way to practice is obviously just drawing with some snap caps or something. It's really easy to push down, um, you know, when you're pulling out, and that is key. I would like to see them add a little claw. Maybe not make a massive one, but just shoot a little claw out right there, just an extra bit of surface area that can hook onto to ensure a good draw. But I love these because they're minimal, they're very thin, and they still are Kydex, so nothing in the world will ever make its way into your trigger guard. Um, accidentally compressing that trigger and causing an accidental discharge or neg neg negligent discharge, sorry. But they just work. Both of these just work. I do like that claw, like I said, though. Um, and I run this 55 to 60 hours per week. So three awesome options. If you want a pocket carry, I recommend it. It'll change your everyday carry life. I'm not talking going to a mall and pocket carrying. Not talking going to a big supermarket. I'm talking simple activities, to and froms, you know, there and backs, little things here and there, walking the dog. But you just want to have something on you. Even what I like pocket pistols for as well is when I'm at home. I can just throw one in my pocket and know that's good enough to get me to my larger, better machinery. So that's just a great thing about pocket carry. It makes your everyday carry life super versatile and versatility makes an easier life. So I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Thanks for watching.